in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Khuram Shahzad from National University of Modern Languages, Islamabad. I intend to make a video on semantic roles. This is one of the topics that we are going to cover in semantics. Remember, you may have come across these semantic roles in your syntax class as well as in your discourse class. All the subjects, they have their own terminologies. So we need to understand them in that particular subject. Semantic roles, they are defined by Burke as that these are the roles that participants play in events and situations. Who are the participants? We human beings are the participants. When I am interacting, I am interacting with the listener. So listener is my interactant. So this is how event will be carried out in a particular situation. We will be conversating with each other. So sometimes we will be talking about chair. Sometimes we will be talking about some social issues. Sometimes we will be talking about classrooms the physical environment of the classroom. Sometimes we are talking about laptops. Sometimes we are talking about cameras. So all these things, when they are playing their part in the event which is occurring, so they are also the participants. So sometimes the participants, they are animate or sometimes they are the inanimate objects. So since we are the participants, we are playing a role in the event so we carry out different kinds of roles and these roles have been categorized through semantic roles the other name for semantic roles is thematic roles it is the underlying relationship that a participant has with the main verb in the clause of course the main verb in the clause also plays a very significant role so we need to understand that what kind of verb is being is being used here so what are its requirements for example some of the verbs they are transitive they require an object some of the verbs they are intransitive they do not require an object and some of the verbs are diatransitive they require two objects so wherever some particular thing is occurring is coming in the sentence we will have to determine its semantic or thematic role well, dear students, some of the major thematic relations are agent, patient, theme, experiencer, uh, source, goal, instrument. And now I will be talking about them and I will be giving you the examples as well. Agent is a person who is the volitional causer of an event. Remember, in traditional grammar, you must have read about subject object but these ideas are coming from systemic functional linguistics where we talk about meaning making process that how meanings they are produced of course meanings are produced by the human beings by the events in which human beings they participate so agent is the volitional causer of an event of course when i am making a video this is my deliberate action this is my deliberate decision that I have taken, that I should make a video. So this is volitional, this is causal, experiencer. So the experiencer of an event, Ahmed died yesterday. So Ahmed did not do anything, rather Ahmed experienced the event of death. I have an headache. So headache is something that I do not want to have, but here I means that I am experiencing it. Or Atisham has a headache. Here Atisham is not doing anything. It means that Atisham is experiencing it. So I will be giving the examples. First let me clarify. Force. The non-volitional causer of the event. For example the wind. Which is a non-volitional causer of the event. The wind broke the window. So wind is not doing anything volitionally. Theme, the participant most directly affected by an event. Remember, when the participant is affected by the event, that is a patient. It means that that patient is a human being. That patient is a, 
is an animate object but when an inanimate object is affected by the action then it is a theme result the end product of an event content the proposition of the sentence of the event instrument an instrument is used in an event i open the door with a key so with the help of the key i am opening the door so with a key is an instrument beneficiary beneficiary of the event source the origin of the object of a transfer of event goal the destination of object of a transfer event so with the help of examples of i hope these things will be very clear to you now look at the examples the waiter spilled the soup so waiter is the agent waiter is doing this thing volitionally waiter is the causer so waiter is agent john has a headache so john is experiencing headache so it means that john is experiencer force the wind blows debris from the mall into our yards the wind so wind is you know force theme only after benjamin franklin broke the ice so ice is you know the theme because it is affected by the action of benjamin franklin but ice is an inanimate object sasha opened the door so sasha is the agent door is the theme sasha broke the window so sasha is the experiencer and window is the theme mehmuna broke the window mehmuna is the agent and window is the theme result the french government has built a regulation size baseball diamond so result is that regulation size baseball diamond content mona asked you met mary ann at a supermarket so you met mary ann at a supermarket is a complete sentence and it has got content in it it has got a proposition in it instrument he turned to pouching catfish stunning them with a shocking device with a shocking device is the prepositional phrase and usually in the prepositional phrase we are making use of an instrument i opened the door with a key so with a key is an instrument he killed this man with a knife with a knife is an instrument beneficiary whenever mehmuna makes hotel reservations for her boss for her boss is the beneficiary because boss is getting the benefit of this thing source i flew in from boston from boston the plane flew so that is the source goal i drove to portland to portland is the goal i went home home is the goal students came to university university is the goal so this is how dear students we have talked about different kinds of semantic roles i summarize them we have talked about agent patient patient is the recipient of the action patient is affected by the action of the agent if it is animate then it is patient if it is inanimate then it is theme we have talked about force we have talked about result we have talked about content we have talked about instrument beneficiary source and goal i hope these things are clear to you Thank you very much.